Hello and welcome to a new player review. So it's Monday and it's time for a new minor league upgrade. Uh, EFL is gone and the um, Saudi Pro League is now active in packs uh, with just uh, 11 players, I believe. Uh, not a full 18 uh, player team. Um, some nice, interesting players in there. I think Jovinko is going to be the headliner um, that we saw. Uh, that SBC Guanca, I think something like that. Not really interesting, I don't think, uh, but he's very cheap. If he fits in your team, you might give it a go. Uh, that objective uh, player, on the other hand, looks uh, more appealing. I might be doing that for another video and having a look at him. Um, the player that we're going to see today uh, for the first uh, player from this uh, Saudi League uh, team of the season is going to be Anselmo. Um, Anselmo de Moraes from uh, Alweda, I believe. Alweda Club. Um, Brazilian. Uh, it looks like a very interesting card. He has a 74 silver card with one in form 280. So from his silver card, this is like 16 ratings, uh, over 100 base stats and over 500 in-game stats. So it's a massive, massive boost. As you can see, a part of the Hulek gang with uh, everything above 80, 85 pace, 81 shooting, 83 passing, 86 dribbling, 90 defending and 95 physical. Uh, he comes as a CDM and this guy looks like a beast to be played at the CDM spot. Um, he's 185, so he's about 6'1", um, quite tall for uh, the midfield, uh, medium height, uh, good defensive uh, work rates there, um, right footed, 3 star skills and a 2 star weak foot, now that 2 star is a bit of a meh there, uh, we would have wanted at least a 3 star there, so uh, I don't know about that 2 star weak foot, it always puts me off in any player that I see with 2 star, I really don't like it, but um, let's have a look at his uh, stats. Overall pace 85 with uh, 87, 83. Uh, I already applied an anchor. We go to 92 in 88. I think it's more than enough. Uh, you can always go with a shadow and uh, max it out. Go to 99 and 93. Uh, good shooting uh, for a CDM. Uh, attack positioning 81. All right, finishing. Very good shot power 92 and good long shot. So it's possible that this guy can uh, score, but only with his good foot, um, more than likely. Uh, passing overall uh, 83, uh, but um, like I said again, uh, crossing and free kicks are never stats that are important. So uh, when you come across a player that has uh, a low overall passing and you see crossing and free kick very low, that's two of the stats that is dragging the overall rating down. Uh, so this guy in the important areas is much higher. As you can see, vision, short pass, long pass, very high, especially short pass and long pass are exceptional with curve being a bit low. Uh, but those important stats are very nice. Uh, dribbling overall 86 with good agility at 80 and the rest of the stats look amazing with 91 balance, 93 reactions, 91 ball control. Good dribbling and good composure as well. For a tall guy like that, these are very good stats to have. Uh, defending overall 90 with 86 interceptions. Um, we go to 91, heading 76 to 90, 86. 91 uh, defensive awareness or marking to 99. Standing tackle 96 to 99. A slight tackle 90. 88 to 99. So uh, everything is uh, amazing as it is, except those interceptions, which are a bit low. So we bring it over 90. Uh, physical is the highest stat with everything almost maxed out, except that jumping. So that's why I uh, went with the anchor to get the plus 10 there to go to 88. Stamina 99, which is great. Strength is uh, again, another very, very good stat at 96 and aggression 91. We max it out with the anchor. So amazing physicals, uh, very good defending, very good dribbling. Uh, great pace, good shooting and good passing. This looks like um, uh, a machine that you can use anywhere in the midfield. Like I said, the only thing that I see bad with this card is going to be the two-star weak foot. Um, I don't know how that will affect him in game, but uh, apart from that, everything looks good on this card, especially for his price. It, if it plays like it's supposed to be um, by the stats, it looks like an amazing uh, value card at 175. He might drop even more. And he's Brazilian, so he's going to be easy to link in your team. So, with that in mind, let's go into a couple of games and test this card out. All right, here we go with our first opponent. Uh, this looks to be a Prem team, maybe Prem objectives. This is a very common uh, thing that we're going to be seeing in Rivals, uh, objective teams. But it's a very, very nice team. Anyways, so for the first game, we're going to go in the 4-2-3-1 formation. We're going to try out Team of the Season and Selmo in the main CDM position with State back while attacking. No? Ah, that was terrible there. Good tackle. Ah, it's by Anselmo. Right away. I don't know why Anselmo just stood there. 
I'm just coming out weird. Open some up. Nice. There we are. Going in. Going in to Kaka. There it is. Drop back. Shoot. Save. Of course. Good. And so on. Nice dribble there. Good control of the ball. Good pass. Nice. Again. Great goal there. Good pass, cold. Nice, Aguadelo. What is going on? Good tackle there. Good dribble by Kaka. Towards it. Goal roll. Like that. And nice shoot. Of course. There we go. There we go, finally. No, don't get it, it's fine. We don't need a tackle there. There it is. Shoot. There we go. 2-2. Two, two. So that's game. Uh, another sweaty game and rivals. Uh, not very impressed, uh, I want to say, by Anselmo's performance. He got 7.8. Uh, no contributions offensively, no shots. Uh, 27 and 28 passes low, very high completion, good dribbling completion as well. No crosses, three on five tackles. It's not, not bad actually. It's quite good, 60%, and some interceptions as well. But I felt he was kind of weird. He, uh, some occasions I saw him coming back and stopping, and then some occasions where you would do the one-two uh, pass, even though when you have him stay back while attacking. Uh, you expect uh, most of the players to join the attack, but he was just stopping there. Anyways, uh, that was kind of a weird game. Let's go into another game and try him again in the same position. All right, so here we go with our second opponent. A bit of a delay here in loading the game. Uh, we have a La Liga team, probably another objectives team. Uh, for this game, we're gonna go in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow and play this time team of the season Anselmo in the CDM spot um, on his own, of course, with uh, stay back instructions. Nice. There we go. Good pass. Nice by Anselmo. The layout. Good. And good double. Okay. There we go. Shoot. There we go. There's the equalizer. There it is. Wow. What a pass. 2 1. Anselmo. Come on. Right. Good pass. Kaka. Shoot. Oh, what a goal and an assist by Anselmo. Actually, not seen anything really. There it is. There's a good interception. Give me, give me header, Anselmo. Yes. No, almost there. Anselmo. Good, good interception. There we go. Good pass. No. I don't know what he's doing all the way there. What the hell? Proton Selmo, it is in the middle. The pass. Oh. No, no, no. That was a nice call. There we go, good pass. Nice horse to shoot. Oh my god, game. <laughs> what are you doing there? Oh, ah, another draw. Just can't win with this Anselmo. So, um, this was a worst performance, I want to say, by Anselmo. Uh, although he gets a higher rating, 8.4 maybe for that assist. Uh, one assist. Uh, one or two shots, but not really. A 16 on 18 passes. Again, his passing is very good, his dribbling is very good. Uh, one on two tackles, but I was exposed in the midfield. That's why I conceded three goals. Uh, but I, I don't know. I still want to give him another try. This time we'll switch the position and try in somewhere else. So this is going to be a next opponent, um, a better team uh, now with a great attacking. Where's the attackers? Douglas Mbappe and Neymar playing a narrow formation here. 
for this game, we're going to go into the 4-2-3-1 formation now. And uh, we added, uh, we're going to try the team of the season and sell mode. Uh, this time we took out Jared and we added Essien, so we're going to play Essien in the main CDM spot to stay back. And uh, we're going to play Anselmo in this, the other CDM spot, but with no instructions. And we'll see how it can defend and maybe attack as well. That was a good little shoot. Oof, what a goal. That was a rocket. Go, go Anselmo. Nice. Oh, a terrible pass. Why do you do that pass there? There's a steal. There. And a good ball. Nice. Good. Roscoe? Oh my god. Why? Go and stuff. Go. Go. Yes, there we go. There's the goal. Yes, and so on. Nice. Good hold. Yes, good pass. Nice. Another one. Great pass there. Go. Arcadello. There it is. <laughs> there we go. What a goal. <laughs> there it is. And right, Selma. So Ooh, what a, what a ball. There we go. There it is. Kent. Ah. Why? That's a good goal, but it's the only way that this guy can score. As you can see, he's shushing me now at 3-1. <laughs> uh, there it is. There's Anselmo. Goes on the counter. Oh, nice pass. No foul. Something. No. And the game's done at 3-1. Uh, better performance this time with uh, Anselmo. Um, we played him in the right CDM uh, spot, as you can see he gets 8.0, um, no contributions, uh, SCN gets 9.1, but I believe Anselmo played better in that position. Uh, one on one shots, 25 to 28, again very good completion, 22 and 24, good completion there. And two on four tackles, uh, uh, fitness less than SCN. So this position we played him with no instructions was playing freely uh, in defense and attack, but it was a great game for him. So uh, let's go back and have a look at this card. So we have team of the season uh, Anselmo uh, from Al Weda uh, from the um, what is it, uh, Saudi Arabia Pro League. Uh, a nice card. I bought this card at 175. He has fantastic stats on his face card. It looks to be like a, a cheap uh, hullet, uh, the cheap man's hullet with uh, these stats. Um, the problem is uh, he works well as a CDM, but it's one of these uh, cards and one of these players in game that has its own animation. And sometimes that's really good, like with uh, Aguadelo that I'm playing. I really like this card because he has some own unique animations that I haven't uh, found in a, a different striker. And uh, most of the times it works in his favor. This guy, I don't know, it, it, he moves kind of weird in the game. His stats, uh, you can really find them in game, except the pace, uh, I would probably go with a shadow. Uh, with this guy because he doesn't feel explosive to make the run uh, with uh, this anchor uh, but his dribbling and his uh, control uh, feels good his passing is uh, very very good very high completion in all games his dribbling as well is very good so you don't need any improvement in those areas his defending could probably you could probably uh, do without the physical i mean that head and jumping i didn't actually get to see it anywhere and uh, the attributes and strength and aggression you won't really need. So uh, you might as well just go with a shadow and get the maximum pace uh, to make this guy um, uh, faster. Uh, we did get one assist in three games. We tried to get a couple of shots. We couldn't get a clear shot. Um, you potentially could uh, score maybe a few goals with this guy, but the two-star weak foot is gonna be a bit hard. You need to get him on his right foot to make that shot. And he doesn't have uh, that great um, skills with three-star skills. There's not a lot that you can do, but you can do the basics, uh, like a ball roll and stuff like that, or drag back. Uh, all in all, he feels like a good guard, but like I said, uh, in the first game or the second game, he was playing kind of weird. He was doing some weird runs, and then all of a sudden he would stop in the middle of the field and not go anywhere. Uh, I don't know. Also, some of the tackles and interceptions he was trying to do, he was doing them, but the ball was falling, uh, was going away. He wasn't trapping the ball. Uh, 
again though some of that stuff you can you know that's just some ea mechanics there i i've uh, encountered that i encountered those uh, kind of things in different uh, players as well so i don't know how to judge it the thing is that with these stats it's kind of very difficult to find uh, another uh, defensive midfielder a pure cdm with good uh, work rates a good height at 6 1 uh, great nation he's not from a great league but being brazilian i'm pretty sure that you can fit him in your team and uh, having stats everything above 80 with great defending at 90 and 95 physical uh, good dribbling I mean, uh, I think this is a steel card. I think he's going to fall well beyond 150, I want to say. But I think this is a good card if you can add him to your team as a main CDM or as a box-to-box -box mid. Uh, I believe that this is uh, a good card to do. But like I said, this is the first day. If you allow a few more days, I think this card may even go down to 100k. And then this is going to be an absolute steal of a card. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.